Hi everyone, my name is Rafida Ahmed Bona, and I would like to thank American Atheists for giving me the chance to talk to all of you today about my personal journey through religious extremism. Though I am recovering from my injuries, I have managed to write down some of my thoughts that I would like to share with you. My husband, my late husband, Dr. Ovijit Roy, and I are Bangladeshi American citizens, atheists, and software engineers by profession. And we are the recent victims of Islamic terrorism in Bangladesh. Several weeks ago, Ovijit and I visited our homeland, Bangladesh, to attend its national book fair. The book fair is held every year in Dhaka during the entire month of February and thousands of, upon thousands of people attend the book fair every day. It's a historic event where we celebrate the International Mother's Language Day on 21st of February. Attending the book fair was especially important to my husband and me because we are both Bang Bengali writers and bloggers. We wrote about science rationalism, and humanism. More specifically, my husband wrote against fu religious fundamentalism. We thought that there is already so much written in English and other languages on these topics. So our mission was to spread message of science, rationalism, and anti-fundamentalism in Bangladesh in our native language. When I wrote only one book concerning the evolution of life, my husband wrote 10 books about secular topics over the last 12 years. He was a more serious, more prolific writer than I was. He, was, he, all, he has also created the first online platform called Muktamona in 2001 in Bangla. Avijit wrote books about origin of life, how the universe emerged from zero, he wrote books about the science behind homosexuality. He even wrote a very literary piece regarding the relationship between Nobel laureate poet Rabindranath Tagore and the Argentinian feminist writer Victoria Ocampo. But two of his books titled Philosophy of Disbelief and Virus of Faith amassed far greater attention. On one hand, they made him exceedingly popular among the progressive young adults. On the other hand, these books fueled hostility and anger towards Avijit from Islamic fundamentalists. On the 26th of February, when we were leaving the well-lit, crowded book fair to get back to our car, Avijit and I were brutally attacked by Islamic fundamentalists. We were stabbed again and again by machetes on the side of the road. I had four stab wounds around my head. My thumb was also chopped off. I have multiple injuries on both hands and I've gone through surgeries to repair the nerves and the arteries. Yeah, my head was also shaved off to treat the wounds. But my husband wasn't as lucky. He was the true target of the attackers. They successfully hacked him to death. Many bystanders at the book fair were so scared that they did not offer us any help. It wasn't until a young photojournalist passed by the scene and rushed us, th us to the hospital where Avijit died. Unfortunately, Bangladesh government hasn't said a word about the incident yet. Avijit was a fellow freethinker, my best friend, my husband, and my life partner. He was killed because he wrote about science, rationalism, atheism, and he wrote against religious fundamentalism. His life was ended, my life was turned upside down. 
as I was preparing this message, I was told that another Bangladeshi blogger was killed, was hacked to death this morning the same way for the same reason. I think you also have someone in the audience, Asif Mohyuddin, who was hacked the same way, but luckily survived. But our story is not entirely unique. Murders like this happen on a daily basis, again and again, all around the world. But Bangladesh was not always like this. This is a relatively new country, which was founded based on secularism. But religious fundament fundamentalism has taken a deep root in our country in last couple of decades, just like many other countries around the world. Countless people have been gruesomely killed for speaking out. We have seen time and time again that words scare fundamentalists, but they can mutilate our bodies. They can try to silence us with whatever weapons they have, but they cannot destroy us because my fellow atheists, our words cannot be killed. Thank you.